Jamie Kokakti. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Crown and Indigenous Relations and Northern Affairs. Since it launched in 2011, successive governments have spent over half a billion dollars on the Nutrition North program. In that time, the number of households in Nunavut affected by food insecurity has risen from 33 to over 50 percent. With results that bad, we should call it the Phoenix Food Program. Yeah. Minister Nunavut One answers. Will you open an inquiry into Nutrition North so we can understand why it has failed so spectacularly and find a way to ensure food security for our communities? I remind the Alvin member from Nunavut to direct his questions to the chair. Of course, if one says no, one says you in the House is referring to the chair, I don't think he intends to do that. The Honourable Minister for Crown Indigenous Relations. Mr. Speaker, it is completely unacceptable that many Northerners are still struggling to feed their families. Our government has expanded Nutrition North to support a total of 116 isolated communities, although we know that more needs to be done. We know that the support for harvesters and the, the access to country food is very, very important to Northerners, but also we are very pleased that CANNOR is also supporting pilot projects that will allow made-in community solutions to be to, to find those solutions for, for those very communities that the member talks about. Here, here.